Jordan. Jordan. Jordan McCabe. Jordan. The talent like Jordan McCabe. People come to just see Jordan. The bottom of the river. Watching Jordan play is very exciting. I've got some dude played high on a pedestal. Whether people think that's the truth or not, I don't consider myself as that. You just outwork everybody. Give yourself a chance to do something great. In order to be great, you have to put in more time than anybody else. Jordan is certainly a, a leader on our team. Uh, he's a four-year varsity player. He's a four-year captain, and he's our hardest worker. As soon as you figure out something that like in your heart of heart you know that that will make me better but it's not going to be easy and then you look around and be like nobody else is doing that do it all handles from the jump when you put those things together that usually is a, a measuring tool to to determine that he is highly respected and, and uh, certainly recognizable, not only within, but outside the area. You know, very important to our team. And, you know, a lot of things, you know, do revolve around Jordan and how he goes and our team will go. Did he run up and down the court with him though? I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting with it, ready? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to go. Oh. You really hide that, because I think there's nobody can do what he does with two balls going up and down full speed. He puts in a tremendous amount of hours when nobody does watch. Coach Shallow has had a great program for, you know, well over a decade now, but I think Jordan's brought that to another level. You know, as the dribbler or whatever, I do it every single day, but only for about five to 10 minutes. And then after that, I'm running with the ball, more game-like stuff. Oh. I'm doing game-like moves. Hey, hey, let's go! We haven't had that, you know, we haven't had a player like that. So that, that's pretty special. And I think it allows others to see what a kid from Kakana can do. And then I go into my shooting stuff like we're doing right now. So it's not real complex, but it works. Wake up, sunshine. Let me tell you something, I've been up since the crack of dawn. If the early bird gets the worm, you know what Alec Baldwin gets? The early bird. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> it, this is just a game day thing. It's just every 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 morning. Yeah, every morning you wake up to you wake up to scrambled eggs. I don't know if George's ever cooked anything in his life outside of oatmeal. That's such a lie. <laughs> Chicken breast. Where on the grill? On the grill. When we go tailgating, <laughs> I am the grill master. I was gonna say this is probably gonna be a <laughs> weird part. <laughs> like, this is probably gonna be a weird part. I know there'll be somebody watching like that. Like I do. Like I do that too. I've never had to eat these clean. Like it's all over my face and stuff and I'm not gonna put it all over my face on video. So just bear with me. Oh, man. I put way too much ketchup on. Just put an normal amount of ketchup on for me. Hmm? No, that's not all you. Did you not make eggs? I got you, Maddie. You want oatmeal? You forgot eggs for her? You look like the worst dad on like <laughs> on, on <camera>. film. <laughs> Say I can't cook. <laughs> you so, got one. 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 Now you're eating. Oh, my <laughs> 
Is Jordan a good older brother? Yeah. What? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, he's a great older brother. That's where I grew up. Where's Jordan? I don't know. He's probably in Grandpa's court. I used to shovel off like this whole side of half court, like before it would get ice on it. So it never like I could come out here and shoot like I put like some gloves on and cut the fingertips off the gloves so I could feel it a little bit. Uh, like nobody I've ever met. All the stuff you people know about them, Alan Shaw, Globetrotters, all this stuff, all the different things he did. He has never mentioned one word to anybody that he ever did that. The best is at night, like I said, you turn the lights off, it's just quiet, you know what I mean? If you're not dribbling, or if you are, that's all you hear is just pat, 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 that's it. It's peaceful, that's what it is. It gets you away from everything. He's uh, been involved with what um, is called Hoops to Help, which has raised a lot of money for uh, families that have had uh, some medical issues. You look at him on the court, that isn't what he is as a person. He's, he's way beyond most people. If the greatest thing I ever do on this earth is play the game of basketball, I didn't really fulfill my you know, destiny as a person, I don't think. I think there's a lot bigger things than this. And he came down the road and there's this little girl selling lemonade stand, you know. He stopped, took a lemonade, gave him 20, you know, give him a hug, where he goes. That's, but you don't tell people that. The little stuff like every single day, like if I'm walking through the halls, you know, there's no reason for me to like look somebody off. There's no, you know, if somebody's smiling, like I'll smile back. Like if I can empower somebody, whether they're having the worst day of their life or the best day of their life, you know, why not make it better one way or another? What's ingrained in him is to be a good person, um, to work hard. He's still a kid. He still has fun and does like the normal kid stuff. But um, his message is usually whatever you're passionate about, like just work on it consistently. I guess I'm not underrated, more towards overlooked. The speaker came up and he's like, I look for three things in a recruit, size, athleticism, and I look for outside shooting. I said, well, I can shoot outside, but you only got 33% of me right there. I'm out on the other two. He's 5'11", unathletic, can't jump. And I've had this obsession with the parts of the game that I can control at my size and athletic set that were that are going to push me to be able to prove those kind of guys wrong. Our game is against Hortonville, which is a conference school. It's the last conference game uh, of the season that we have going on. Uh, it's our senior night, so big night, obviously. It's been a, a long journey. It's kind of bittersweet, right? You know, something is ending, obviously, but something else is also beginning. Okay, guys, think about all the time, all the time that you spent preparing, and here that night comes right now. Last chance right here, regular season, all of us together. All right, make it special for one another. You know, when the lights go on and the fans uh, and, the, and the, the place is packed, I think that's where, you know, Jordan really uh, steps up.
night. Not one thing. We wanted 100, we wanted 75, we wanted traffic and a thumbs up. We haven't done a thing. Lock down somebody. Where are we going? Back with what? Right. Let's go. Let's guard them. And I guess what I'm missing in Next is, is West Virginia, and I think, well, he doesn't want to wish away the, you know, the rest of this season. He wants to get a gold ball. I don't think he's going to um, mince words over that. Uh, but he's also really excited to start that next chapter and, and try to play you know, the highest level of basketball possible at the college level. We've got a great chance to not only be playing in, in Madison, um, you know, at the state tournament, but also uh, in a position to win a state championship. There's this one uh, special needs kid, you'll see him, Bryce, who, who's always a huge Jordan fan, but Jordan's a huge Bryce fan. And, and, and Jordan will often, like, he'll go to, like, one of his um, uh, baseball games or uh, Special Olympics events or like a concert he's doing like just like randomly doing that for others I think he's always thinking about other people. Jordan has, has certainly uh, done a lot for our team and our program school and community um, and hopefully we've helped him a lot along the way you know to get him to the point where he needs to be as he gets off to uh, playing at West Virginia next season. We need to string, string them together now six in a row and uh, We've been waiting for this moment all season. I thought we, we did some stuff tonight that could lead to that. To put a banner up on the, on the wall over there, a state championship banner, that means everything for this city. I hope to be an impact on the community. I really do. My next step is to go out to West Virginia and do everything I can. I'll always be, you know, the 5'11", you know, unathletic kid from some small town in Kakana. Have you ever heard of Jordan McCabe? Is he a big name around these parts? He is. That's who we, that's who we came to see out here. <laughs>